Um, and the call that we have been getting a lot recently is, um, well, I'm a cash buyer. I want you to go ahead and be very aggressive and submit this offer. And they have to take it because I'm a cash buyer. Okay, I, I can understand that. I can understand the reasoning behind somebody saying, well, I'm a cash buyer. Because back in the day, cash was king. Always, We were always told that cash is king. That's what we need to think about. However, in, in my marketplace, there's one little thing that we need to think about. Um, right now, all we're really dealing with are, are the short sales, and the bank is in control. They just care for the bottom line. Or we're dealing with bank-owned properties that they just care for the bottom line. So if you could follow me for one brief second and imagine that you are the seller. You're the bank. You're selling the property. Uh, you care for the bottom line. How much money are you going to net? So somebody shows up and they offer you $100,000 financed or somebody comes and offers you $80,000 cash. On a normal scenario, back in the day, you take the $80,000 and you go because this is cash money. However, this guy right here that's financing, the difference with this guy is that his today's guidelines are so strict that his financing is just as good as gold. It's just as good as cash. You're just gonna have to wait maybe an extra 15, 20, 30 days, and you're gonna be netting, if you're the seller, you're gonna be netting $20,000 more. Now, I don't know about you, but I would rather wait another 30 days to get $20,000 more. Um, and then you will say, well, why would somebody offer so much money? Well, what happens is call interest rates. The interest are so low, that the amount that you're going to be financing over 30 years, or God forbid, even more, I don't know. Um, it, the, the mortgage payment is not going to make much of that much of a difference. So the people say, hey, hold on a second. I'm sick and tired of making these offers that don't pan out. Uh, let's, let's just go out and figure out how much money we can pay. And usually they're paying less than what they're renting for. And can we buy the house? Yeah, we can buy the house. Great. Then they're beating you out just because you're thinking that cash is going to get it. What we need to be looking at is our properties that actually make sense for you uh, with the amount of money that you have. Remember, you make your money in real estate when you purchase, when you buy. That's when you make your money. And there's plenty of plenty of properties out there. We can help you out get the find, help you out get find the one that you need. I got it out. Huh? <laughs> Anyways, Tulio Troche, T Real Estate. Um, give me a call if you like the video. You know, just give it a plus and uh, or find me on the net. Send me an email. We can help you out with anything that you need about real estate. 407-415-8865 and I sell Orlando houses.com.